Okay. Uh, good morning. Today we are going to see uh, derivation for displacement, or we can say better shape function uh, that is for uh, two noded beam element. So in last we are with two noded uh, bar element. Today we will go with two noded beam element. So now, uh, what is the difference actually between the two uh, in bar element, we are being with only one unknown displacement that is delta x here, but in beam, we are going to be with two unknown displacement. One is linear displacement and another is slope. So you can see in beam element, two unknowns are at each node that is displacement and slope. So if I will consider a beam, and we have two nodes over here, and then we have two displacement at each node. So if I will consider any point P over here, then I have two displacement, U and theta. So now while considering this, so if I will consider two nodes, then I have to consider four constant, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four. And now if I will write equation for displacement W, then I have alpha one plus alpha two X plus alpha three X square plus alpha four X cube. So this we can write by using Pascal's triangle considering only one axis. Now we know slope we have that is derivative of displacement. So we have dabba uh, W by dabba X uh, and that we will get as so if I will take derivative of this, then I will get theta that is equal to alpha two plus, we can have derivative of this two alpha three X plus we can have three alpha four X square. So likewise, we will get this as a uh, slope. So now if I will write this displacement in matrix form, then I have this as one X X square X cube and we have to multiply this with alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four. And second, we have theta, just we have calculated over here. So dabba w by dabba x. And if I will write it in matrix form, then we will have as no alpha term is there. So we have to write it zero. And then we are with this four constant term, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four. Now, <clears throat> as we are considering these two nodes, so, we have first node, we are going to consider x equal to zero because total length of this beam we are going to consider as L and this we are going to assume it as origin. So if this is origin, then we have this will be x equal to zero at node one. And now we have equation of displacement or displacement model we have alpha one plus alpha two x plus alpha three x square plus alpha four x cubed. Now, if we will put this value of x equal to zero in this equation, then we will get, so x equal to zero, we have w is equal to alpha one. So we have this will be at node one, w one is equal to alpha one. Now we have second theta that is at this x equal to zero. So theta equation we have alpha two plus two alpha three x plus three alpha four x cube. And then we have here that is x equal to zero. And therefore we will get theta equal to alpha two. So this actually we have W one and this will be theta one. And this we will have this one. Now in next we have simply x equal to L and we have to put x equal to L in this equation. And then we will get it as alpha one plus alpha two L plus alpha three L square plus alpha four L cube. And theta two, if we will point, then we have alpha two plus two alpha three L plus three alpha four, sorry, this is X square. So three alpha four L square. And this we will have equation that is of uh, displacement and slope at node one. And this is at node two. Now, if we will write it in matrix form, then we have W one theta one W two theta two. Now, if I will write this, then I have this will be zero alpha two, zero alpha three, and zero alpha four. Here also I have zero alpha one plus alpha two, plus alpha three zero, plus alpha four zero. 
and here also I have zero alpha word plus, and then it becomes easy to write. In first we have one only. In second we have alpha two one. Now third we have alpha one plus alpha two l so one l l square l cube. And here we have zero. Then we have one over here two l l and then three l square. And in two alpha one alpha two alpha three alpha four. Now we are interested to find this alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four, because if we will go back, then I have this equation. And to determine this general equation, to find displacement at any point, I have to replace this by using Cartesian coordinates. And therefore I have to find this value in terms of L and in terms of X. And then that we will find by considering this as inverse, of this. Now, how we will find the inverse? So, inverse we have that is equal to adjoint upon determinant. Now, how we will find our joint? So, we have this as adjoint cofactors and transpose of cofactors we have adjoint. Now, determinant. So, we have this 0, this 0, this 0. So, we have only 1. So, this 1 again 3, 0. So we have only this one and then these terms. So what we will get, these terms we will get only. So we have determinant A equal to one into one into, we have this will be three L four minus, sorry, three L four, yes, minus two L cube. So three L four minus two L four. And from this we will get value as L four. Now we will go for cofactor. So now if I have to find cofactor for this, then we have to remove this row, we have to remove this row and this column. And then our remaining, we have this one. Now we have to consider this, and then we have to find cofactor. Again, we have this as zero, we have this as zero. So this term becomes zero. So we have only one, this part. So we have again this three L cube, three, L4 minus 2L4, and then we will get cofactor for this as L4. Now, if I will go for this, so I will just remove this. And then now I will go for this. Then we have to remove this. We have to remove this. And then we will go first for this. Sorry, we are taking uh, for this. So we have to remove just, we have to remove this. And then we have to remove this. And then we have these three zeros. And therefore, automatically my cofactor, for this I got L4, for this I will get it at C. Now if I will go for, now next I will go third. Then for third, I have to just remove this. I have to just remove this. And then uh, we have this zero, we have this zero. So we have only for this one. So we have for this one, so we have again this, we have to remove, we have to remove this. So we have this three L square and this becomes zero. So we have this will be three L square. That is by, and then for this last, we are being like this. So we have like this. And then again, these two zeros. So we are going to get these values in this fashion. So just calculate this. So I will get this as minus three L square. Then I will get this as two L. So likewise, we have to find actually values for these cofactors. And once we know these cofactors, then we can easily find that um, transpose of this. So we have values in this fashion. And now we will go for uh, transpose. So now how we will get transpose? So just I have to convert I have rows into columns. So I have, and then we have to divide this. First, if I will find cofactor, so if I will write one upon L4, then I have L4, zero, minus three L square, two L. Then we have second, zero. So we are taking second row becomes, Second column, 0 L4 minus 2 L cube and L square. Then third, we will have this row becomes third column, 0, 0, 3 L square minus 2 L. 
Now fourth, this becomes fourth column, zero, zero, minus L cube and L square and divide it by L4. So this becomes value. So if I will just write it by othering, then I will have this as one, this is zero. This will be minus three by L square and this will be two by L cube. When we are going to divide it by zero, so uh, blue, I am going to divide it by L4. Then we have this as zero, one, minus two by L, one by L square. Then zero, zero, three by L square, minus two by L cube. Then we have zero, zero, minus one by L, one by L square. And likewise, we are going to get this inverse and then we have to uh, put it in general equation. And then from this, we are going to get, we have to multiply this row with this column. So we will get one, then x becomes zero, one minus three x square upon L square plus two x cube upon L cube. Now you can have this. Then first row, second column. So first term zero, Second term, we have x. Third term, we have minus 2x square upon L. And this will be x cube upon L square. Then we will go with third. First two, zero. Third, we have 3x square upon L square. Fourth, we have minus 2x cube upon L cube. In fourth also, first two, zero. Then we will have minus x square upon L and x cube upon L square. And then we have as it is, W1 theta 1, W2 theta 2. So these are known as shape functions. So this will be N1, this will be N2, then we have this will be N3, and then this will be N4. So we can write it in this fashion. And so we have for beam element Carti uh, in Cartesian coordinate values of shape function N1, N2 n3 and n4. So likewise, we have to go for beam, two noted beam element. Now we will stop here only. Thank you. Subscribe kara Civil Engineers Technical Hub and video award last sale. Thank you.